Hello everyone, I'm Kisan and today I'm sharing some tips and tricks with you on how to make shadows using different blending mode options, darken, overlay and color burn. Of course, I'll be using Clip Studio Paint. Let's start! Open your working Clip Studio Paint. This is my illustration for today. A blonde girl that playing a white piano on the water and under an intense blue sky. As you can see, I have done the line and base colors, so I'm ready to finish the work by adding shadows and then lights. For these steps, I'll use different blending mode options, obtaining a result similar to my full digital works with only a few layers. First, move all work layers in two folders. The first one, background, has the main work layers, line and base colors inside. In the second one, there are all of the foreground elements, papers, flowers and little birds. You can find them in my Clip Studio Paint Assets profile, available to download and to use in your works. Above the background folder, create a new layer with the blending mode set to darken. With the darken blending mode, I'm able to color only on the lighter parts with another lighter tone, keeping the darker color safe. I use this setting to create the main shadows on the skin, the dress, the piano and the waves. With standard brushes like the G-Pen and Hard Watercolor, make shadows in the drawing starting from the character. To make the shadow softer, use the Blend Brush. Repeat the process with the other elements, keeping the same layer. On the piano, use the same G-Pen and hard watercolor to add some shadows on the surface. If you need to work in a specific part accurately, use the selection tools by going to Tool, Auto Select, Refer to Layers, or going to Tool, Selection Area, Lasso. The piano has a reflective surface, so the shadows will be the same colors of the sky, blue and yellow. Don't hesitate to mix them using the blend and creating a an uniform gradient. To make precise shadows, use the straight line, going to Tool, Figure, Direct Draw, Straight Line. In the same layer, let's make the waves. With the G-Pen, add some color splatters using a darker blue in the blue part and a lighter blue in the light yellow area.
Then mix colors with the hard watercolor brush and the blend, making them softer. If necessary, use the eyedropper to pick a color of the same tones from the drawing by going to Tool, Eyedropper, Obtain Display Color. Once finished, activate some previously hidden materials, flowers and music sheets. As you can see, everything overlaps well with the other elements, but you can edit or add shadows in the darkened layer to make the effect accurate, if necessary. Now, let's add some shadows and likes on the drawing using the Overlay Blending Mode option. Create a new layer and change the blending mode from Normal to Overlay. With this option, you can give strength to the darker areas and brightness to the lighter ones without covering parts of the drawing or colors, instead emphasizing them. If the color is close to black, tones on the drawing will be darker and more saturated. Vice versa, if the color is lighter and close to white, tones will be brighter. You can get a softer effect by choosing the soft light blending mode option or an intense one by using options like hard light, glow, lighten or screen. With a darker color, give strength in the darker areas in the drawing. For example, if I use a dark blue on the piano, the colors will be stronger. But if I use a light color, the result will be brighter, perfect for reflections and enhancing the drawn elements. Do the same process with the character and the water for nice likes and shadows. Done! If I need to emphasize the darker parts more without touching the lighter ones, I can use the Color Burn Blending Mode option. The color burn burns colors underneath, making them more vibrant without affecting the white parts of the image. Now I show all of foreground materials I showed you before. Let's complete the main work, doing all last details. First, create a new folder setting the blending mode to True. In this way, you can add all layers with all of the blending mode options you want without losing their effects. For example, in a new layer set the blending mode to Multiply, I can add darker colors, emphasizing some stronger parts of the drawing, like shadows of the hair, the expression of the girl, the folds of the dress, and the water waves. Then, in new layers with the blending mode set to normal, I enhance the drawing with sparkles, white lines, water drops, leaves, flowers and other small details. Finished! 
The work is completed now, but I would like to give a final touch. Something that describes what my character is playing better, a nostalgic emotion of her past. A special tribute of a beloved person, but is not with her anymore. To emphasize this, I wanted to use a quick gradient filter. Create a new layer, setting the blending mode to darken. Then, go to Tool, Gradient, Foreground to Background, and with a yellow and grey color combination, add the gradient from the top to the bottom. Edit the opacity as you prefer, I set it to 30%. Thank you very much for watching this video, I hope showing my technique gave you some tips and new ideas for your drawings and process. Don't hesitate to share your work with us, we can wait to see your art. See you in the next video, bye!